Good afternoon listeners and welcome from the Victoria Ground, home of Bromsgrove Sporting FC for this Vet Victor Southern League Central Premier Clash between Bromsgrove Sporting and Tamworth. This production will be brought to you by Lambs Media, who are proudly sponsored by OnlySuperNews.com. I'm Kev Clark, and alongside me this afternoon is Stuart Bywater. So your home side then in goal is Daniel Platt, two is Zach Hickman, three Jack Wilson, four Gift Musa, five Thomas Taylor, six Leon Broadhurst, seven Charlie Dow, eight Josh Quainer, and he's the captain, nine Mikey Taylor, 10, Greg Mills. 11, William Shorrock. On the bench for Sporting is Liam Spink, Max Beardmore, Kieran Westwood, Harry Higginson and Shaquille McDonald. The Tamworth side this afternoon in goal, Jazz Singh. 2, Aaron Ford. 3, Henry Wilder. 4, Captain Ryan Bezik. 5, Joe Magunda. 6, Nathaniel Rowe Turner. 7, Tyrell Waite. 8, James Fry. 9, Daniel Creaney. 10, Bilal Yafai, 11, Rhys Honus. Now on the bench for the Lambs, Ahmed Obeng, Jordan Clement, Cameron Hawkins, Jordan Goff, and Chris Lake. Three. officials, and we this are underway. This afternoon is Gareth Davies. As always, listeners on Mixler, quite a few of you listening in this afternoon. We hope you enjoy the commentary. Brought to you by Lambs Media and proudly sponsored by OnlySuperNews.com. Dan Creamy goes through the middle and he's onside. He's only got the keeper to beat. Oh, good save by Pratt. By Pratt and maybe Creamy should have done a little bit better on the uh, left side of the area. Get to the edge of the Lambs area. Defended well by Tamworth. Falls to Besic now and he's immediately set Reese Honus free. If he can get there ahead of the goalkeeper. Oh, and that's really great goalkeeping there by Daniel Platt, who had to get that one absolutely right halfway in the sporting half. Go it. Yeah, he was almost in the centre circle to be fair. He was that far up the pitch. Yeah. And Tamworth looking to exploit that little bit of a weakness through the middle of the Bromsgrove defence. Yafai is caught there, but it falls to Honus, who plays it through to Creaney. And now, chance first time hit by Creaney. Good save by the feet of Daniel Platt, and it comes all the way out to this near side. Ball across the 18 yard box for Tamworth to defend, which they do really well. And Reese Honus finds Bilal Yafai, who in turn finds Bezik halfway line now. Forward again to Yafai down the right side. Here's Yafai. He'll think about the curler, but he didn't quite get enough on it. Tyrell Waite was closing in as it went towards goal as well. But it was easy enough, Stuart, for Daniel Platt. Yeah, but that was a good little one-two there between Yafai and Bezik, though, wasn't it, Kevin, to set uh, Bilal back down on the right-hand side. But it doesn't really matter, does it, as long as they, they get promoted. And again, Tamworth, a flick on from Creen. He falls to Torrell Waite, and he's danced his way through into the area. Torrell Waite, surely a penalty! And oh, now it's... Uh, it's run through to the goalkeeper and the referee says no, play on. I thought the referee had pointed to the spot then for a moment. Oh, well, that's what confused me in all honesty because he pointed directly at Daniel Platt, which was also where the spot was. Yeah. So <laughs> He'll swing this towards the far post. Goes quite low, flat trajectory. It's in bouncing around the box, stabbed towards goal. It's cleared, half cleared, off the line. Yeah, it was Ryan Bezik cleared off the line. Ball down the left side of the 18-yard box now to Yafai. Early ball into Bessick. Oh, Creaney almost gets something on it. Eight yards from goal. Goal kick to Tamworth. Yeah, because our, our mugs have been splattered around social media enough, haven't they, Kev, saying that we're on the press bench? Well, that's the trouble we have. We go to the ground, people say, hello, Kev, hello, Steve. We They know who we are. And again, a little ball through the middle for Tamworth. Now, Creaney's on the end of it. First time shot, completely miss hit. And that goes out of play for a goal kick. He needs a goal. <laughs> no, this, this goal. This game needs a Chris late after about 60 minutes. Oh, he, again, a flick on by Creaney. Yafai almost in business and just about dealt with by uh, Leon Broadhurst there. Tamworth we're keeping the pressure on down this right side with Jimmy Fry, who will try and get something out of this. Oh, he manages to squeeze across over Creaney, turns and hits it. Platt is equal to it. He didn't quite get his foot around that and get full purchase on it. But Platt still had to get low down to his right to save it, Stuart. Throw in quickly taken on this near side by Shorrock, but dealt with by Tamworth, flicked on by Waite. Hooked upfield by Broadhurst, and there, wasting no time at all, the referee's whistle for half-time. 
And as we approach the hour mark, Kev, you have to wonder how long it is before we see the introduction of Chris Lake with some fresh legs. Yeah, you think it's almost certain that Chris Lake will play a part this afternoon. It's just a case of how long he gets, really. But I would imagine around that 60-minute mark, as you suggest, as it was against St Ives, Mikey Taylor loses out yet again to the Tamworth back line. And Tamworth progressed through the middle. Yafai picks up the ball. Second attempt through to Reese Honus now. And he's a chance. Slots it towards goal. Good save by the goalkeeper. And grabs it at second attempt. But as much as that was a good save, that was a poor shot by Reese Honus. Bezik now to Yafai. Just inside the Bromsgrove half. Back to Bezik. Clips it infield to Tyrell Waite. The little through ball towards Creaney wouldn't have got to him anyway. But it was cut out. But it's uh, what I meant by that. It was too close to the goalkeeper with that trajectory. Bromsgrove survive anyway. Ford with a foot in against Taylor and he's unfairly fouled the Bromsgrove sporting man and that is a free kick. Well, maybe Aaron's tantrum has prevented it. <laughs> and nonetheless, it is a free kick to Bromsgrove. Greg Mills to take and this is a good position to put pressure on the Tamworth back line in the 18-yard box. And it comes towards the centre of the goal. Flicked on. And it's into the back of the net. Completely missed by Jazz Singh. Completely missed by the Tamworth back line. And a free header at the far post just looped up into the net. And it is 1-0 to Bromsgrove Sporting. And that is really harsh on the performance of Tamworth this afternoon. It's hard to comment on whose fault it was. A little foul there against... Uh, Josh Quainer about 10 yards into the Tamworth half and a free kick to Sporting who lead by one goal to nil 62 on the clock quickly taken free kick into Westwood the substitute who swings it into the area but dealt with by Tamworth and away comes Wait with a clever pass out to Reese Honus now Tamworth motoring over halfway Honus waiting for support he'll beat his man He'll have to do it twice if he's going to get the cross in. He's eventually bundled to the ground by Jack Wilson. There's Mikey Taylor, just one man in the wall to try and stop the ball coming over. And it's towards the back post of the head of Bill U5. But it's hit the ground first and ended up in the hands of Daniel Platt, who bowls the ball out quickly. All of a sudden, there's a slight overlap on the left-hand side now for Bromsgrove. Here's Greg Mills into the 18-yard box, ball across, Singh palms it away and uh, Nathaniel Roturner clears that one up. Tries to get Tamworth back in possession and does so. Ball forward now, he's half cleared by Bromsgrove and only as far as Bilal Yafai. He's looking for the overlap now and it's Jimmy Fry gets a shot off, good save by Platt. It had to be saved and he's put it out for a corner. And that's their third and final substitution, so Bromsgrove very keen to protect what they have as Tamworth put the pressure on ball into the box here's Obeng he didn't quite get to the second ball but it was almost an opportunity for the wriggly little winger and apparently well, we've got no ridiculous balls. so eventually all that momentum has gone out of that now that quick corner idea has gone we've had to wait for a new ball which has had to be the Tamworth bench that have supplied it so Bezik out swinging corner is there a chance for Tamworth in it goes Cleared by, uh, by Sporting eventually. And they clear it over halfway. McDonald with an empty goal. He's rolling towards the goal. He's wide. Oh! He will just take his sweet time. And there's the final whistle. The biggest roar of the afternoon. And you can see what it means to the Bromsgrove players and staff alike.